Hey everybody, this is Abby. So I am going to do, I guess, somewhat of a addition or a response video to Natural 85's video she recently done on the difference and comparison between the curl formers and the magic leverage. So I have, her video was amazing, absolutely amazing. The only thing that I could add to the video is that I've had my magic leverage for over a year. So she stated how she couldn't really give a a response on how well they break down, but even if they break down, they're really they're still really inexpensive. So um, I agree with that certainly, but I've had mine for over a year, so I can tell you how well they hold up. So the um, verdict is that yes they do break but I've had mine for nearly a year and a half and I've only had uh, maybe four or five of them to break and what I mean by break is um, they tend to the hard part on the end it starts to uh, do this can you see that it starts to like the mesh like tears down, it breaks down. Now, I say they're like what fifteen bucks, and for only five of them to break throughout the year, uh, over a year and a half, that's not all that bad. Now, this plastic is harder, so the curls are a bit smoother. And the she stated about the sticks, that is absolutely correct. So I have three hooks here, and. This one came with the magic leverage, and this is the black one, and it's very flimsy, very flimsy. This one is gray, but it is different from the curl former hook. This gray one came with a kit that I got from some website that shipped them from China. Maybe I got them from eBay, but they were very short. Now, I got these nearly four years ago like this was like right after I went natural that I got these and they are the little bitty tiny ones I'll show you what they look like I don't even I use them as extra add-ons now but they were little baby ones like this with only two hook two curl two um coils so that's the little tiny ones and it came with this gray book and I think that that gray hook is more sturdy than this. This gray hook is more sturdy than this black hook. But the better hook is this curl formers hook. Now, all three bottoms look the same. But this is the curl formers. And it is much thicker. Can you see that? It is much thicker than the other two hooks. And it's much more sturdy. So I've had a few of my curl formers to actually mess up as well. But they don't break so much at the end as they lose. I'll take the bobby pins and the clip out to show you what happens with them. It loses uh, look it loses its I don't want to say its bounce it's a little loose there now a little tip that I will give you as well is that if you can see some of mine I have the little baby ones on the end and you know call me cheap but I um, if I find that Sorry, my husband's making a smoothie, if you can hear that. Uh, what I've found is that I've outgrown some of my original um, Magic Leverage and Curl Formers. And I have bought some extra long Curl Formers, and I have some of them, some of these. But I just add the little baby ones on the end, and it works just as well. So my head is a combination of three different types of curl formers. I have the Magic Leverage, which the mesh, it's more of these more shiny looking ones, like the pink here. 
in here. And then the orange is the curl formers. And then, well, the long orange ones are the curl formers. The long, long pink ones are curl formers. And then the shorter ones are the magic leverage. And then the shortest ones are the little baby magic leverage. So I'm just going to start taking them out. But before I take them out, you can see a little bit of a um, some bobby pins. What I do is, if my hair is a little bit too long for the curl formers, I will twist my hair at the root really tightly and then loosen the curl former to where my ends are actually in the curl former. And then I'll just pin the root down. So, let's see what it looks like. So I'm just going to stretch and slide down and you can see what the curl looks like. So since I started in the back, I'm going to take these out from the back just to go ahead and give my hair a little extra drying time. So, let me get a light going. So that you can better see this. So I don't think that you want to sit here and watch me take a loose every single uh, curl former or magic leverage. So I'm going to go ahead and end this part of the video, finish taking these out, and then I'll come back when I'm like taking the last little bit out because I don't want to, as you can see, I have 1,001 in my head. So I got so much hair. So I'm going to go ahead and can you see them? They're really beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and end this video and I'll come back. Okay. Bye. Hi, everybody. So I'm back and I have taken out nearly all of the curl formers and magic leverage. And if you look at the curls, you really can't see much of a difference. You don't know which curl was a curl former or which curl was a magic leverage curl. So some of the ones that look a little weird, that's where I had to double. I had They had two rollers on them, so they don't come out perfect, but they at least are blendable. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the wrist. So as always, you just stretch the curl former out and then pinch the top and then you just slide down. <clears throat> and there's your curl. So you, this is a magic leverage. So you just pinch and slide down and you get your curl. And in case you were wondering what I did to my hair, I prepped my hair by co-washing. <clears throat> and then I actually um, set the curl formers on wet hair. And um, I co-wash or shampoo my hair whenever I wash my hair. I put it into like braids or twists. Um, normally six to eight. So last night I had eight braids and I co-washed and then as I I rolled my hair or curl formed my hair um, one braid at a time and I used um, this to <clears throat> to set my hair and this is a super moisturizing conditioner 
from dhealthstore.com and I love that stuff. I wish that it was sold in larger containers. So this is what all of my curls look like. So I put the super moisturizing conditioner, leave-in conditioner on each curl. Well, each sec each braid and then on each curl I put this. So I put one pump on each curl and this is natural mousse air tur turbocharged hairstyle and foam. And I will say that um, all of my hair is completely dry. And these were in my hair for only about, about nine hours. And that never happens. I always have some damp ones after nine hours. I normally leave these in for more like 15 hours. So um, this is what they look like. So really, really tight curls. And as you can see, they have lots of spring. So I say if you can't afford the curl formers, get the curl formers. If you can't afford the curl formers, I would definitely suggest going and getting the Magic Leverage or like the knockoff brand. So, um, yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.